The, the first thing in Belize City is the tribute to her, the stage at the Street Art Festival. On Monday, we're planning a celebration of life here at the Bliss Center. Um, we have it planned for 6 p.m. We have different artists who have been calling. They want to participate. They want to be a part of this celebration of Miss Leela's life. Um, then in PG, on Tuesday and Wednesday, we, we're also planning different types of concerts. And um, the burial is planned um, at this point for Wednesday at 10 a.m. Okay, now in terms of the uh, um, the event that will take place here in Belize City. Um, how can people be a part of this? Uh, is it uh, something where funds will be generated to help with the family um, expenses uh, for the funeral? You know what's going to happen there? Well, it, it's a free concert open to the public because we want everybody to come and celebrate Leela's life. So it's open to the public. All the artists are open. You know, outpouring with love. They, of course, they're they're um, performing for free. Um, we have people like Myrna Manzanares, you know, giving a speech and talking about how, you know, Lila's life impacted Belizeans. We have Ernestine doing the national anthem in Creole. You know, that sort of thing to 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 cement in the importance of the Creole culture. The Creole culture. We have to we have to make sure that Lila's memory lives on. Um, it will in her music. You know, every time you hear her music, Lila might be dead but her spirit and her music and what she, what she stood up lives on and continues to live on.